Main CDC, get COVID-19 vaccine even after you've recovered from virus, immunity could last at least six months. People who've received both doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech or Moderna coronavirus vaccines will probably need a booster shot this year, top executives for those two pharmaceutical companies said this week. Pfizer CEO Albert Baller said people who've gotten both doses would likely need a third shot within 12 months and might need an annual shot thereafter. Vaccine passports are set to become a part of everyday life right across the world as governments race to vaccinate their populations against the coronavirus. Countries including Israel, the United Kingdom, and much of Europe have either already rolled out a vaccine passport scheme or are actively working on one. Under the scheme, designed to ease the country out of lockdown, Israelis issued their ID or passport number, date of birth, and approval for their health care provider to verify that the person had received their vaccine. Those with a green pass can enter venues including gyms and studios, swimming pools, restaurants and cafes, hotels, stadiums and other sporting venues, theatres, cinemas. As Israel reopens, whoever does not get vaccinated will be left behind new government and business initiatives are moving in the direction of a two-tier system for the vaccinated and unvaccinated. Fans of the NBA's Brooklyn Nets are flashing more than game tickets these days when entering Barclays Center. They're also required to show a recent negative COVID-19 test, a vaccination card, or their Excelsior Pass, New York's first-in-the-nation vaccine passport, which uses QR codes on a smartphone to prove test results or vaccination against the disease. Those who are fully vaccinated will get a QR code on the app if the record shows that it has been at least two weeks since their last shot. Tourism officials say it will not only bring in more visitors but boost inter-island travel among residents. Not many people would be willing to fake a vaccination card while knowing they could be fined up to $5,000 and spend one year in prison. At Alaska Industrial Hardware Stores, a vaccine mandate goes into place. All Alaska Industrial Hardware employees will be required to be vaccinated against COVID-19. A's letter also informs employees that if they are not in compliance with the new policy by August 1, 2021, they will be placed on unpaid leave until their employment status is determined by the Human Resources Department, pursuant to provisions of the policy. County employees were told last month they were required to receive COVID-19 vaccines to continue working for the county, despite legal questions about requiring a vaccine only approved for emergency use. A federal judge has denied a request for an immediate temporary restraining order at the outset of the country's first lawsuit over mandated COVID-19 vaccinations. Being vaccinated is a requirement and a condition of ongoing employment with the county. If you are traveling in the U.S. you don't need to show a COVID-19 vaccination card yet. A Royal Caribbean-owned cruise line just announced a vaccine requirement. These are all the cruise lines that will require COVID-19 vaccinations for guests and crew. Walmart has joined an international effort to make vaccination and other health records available digitally, beginning with the COVID-19 vaccine, allowing customers to easily offer proof of their vaccination status when needed. We are proud to be the first retailer to strategically partner with both the Commons Project Foundation and CLEAR, and we look forward to working with them to empower people with digital access to their vaccination records so they can use them whenever and however they choose. Making sure that customers have been vaccinated may feel advantageous for a restaurant owner eager to return to full-capacity dining. 
Will you need a vaccination verification or passport to travel, to visit Disneyland, a sporting event, or even a trip to the grocery store? What happens if they need to show that they've been vaccinated to get into a grocery store or a pharmacy? Duke University in North Carolina has announced that it will require students to have a COVID-19 vaccine when they return this fall, and the list of campuses with such policies is growing. University of Vermont promises strong, swift action against students who gathered at beach. UVM Vice President Gary Dare says that if UVM students at the beach weren't social distancing or wearing masks they could be subject to school discipline. At the beginning of the semester, the students agreed to follow Vermont's COVID-19 guidelines. Let us recap. The vaccine might only last six months. They are already talking about a booster shot in the fall for those vaccinated. They have come out openly and said this could be yearly. New York, Hawaii, and now California have openly begun rolling out the vaccine passport. This is not temporary. I do not care what is in the vaccine. I care that the government will have the permanent access to inject us with whatever they want for the rest of our lives. If we do not stop this, it will never be rolled back.